Okay, this is this is my favourite stretch, um, my favourite pectoral stretch at that as well. Okay, um, not done as a traditional. Let's really just crank it and annoy the spindles and mess it all up. It's done in a sort of self MET style, right? So what I'm going to use is the window frame here. Yeah, um, you can use a door frame. You can use anything. Just use something you've got a little purchase that you can push into. You can do it in two positions either with a full forearm yeah if you're using the forearm into the frame make sure the elbow is above shoulder height or with your fingertips with a straight arm again with this one you just make sure your elbow is above shoulder height reason for that is you know yeah you can stretch off other parts of your pectorals by doing lower yeah two sets to pec major but really by doing it like this we we're getting a lot of pec minor. Pec minor is indicating a lot of problems, including things like thoracic outlet syndrome. Okay, so this is the one I prefer to do. You can see what I sort of do. So I'm doing my left arm, I have my left foot slightly forward, so I'm almost in, the, almost in a lunge. Okay, and with a straight arm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist my body round like this. So I'm sort of rotating round, and I'm feeling for a stretch across the pec here. Soon as I feel that stretch though, I'm going to back off. So I'm just on the cusp of it. So there's stretch, there's not. And that's where I'm going to start. Now from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hand off the wall to show you, is I'm going to push my arm across my chest. It, well, I'm not going to, that's the action I'm making, yeah? But I'm not going to make that action because I'm going to block it on my, on my uh, window frame. So now I'm pushing with the arm. And I'm, it's a 30 to 40% effort, right? I'm going to push for 10 to 12 seconds. Now, after 10 to 12 seconds, so that's 11 seconds, 12, I'll relax, I'll stop, I'll relax. I will rotate, and now I can move further without the stretch, you see. I can move a bit further, I can pivot on my right foot, and now I feel the stretch again. So now I'm going to back off, and I'm just going to wait not doing anything for another 12 seconds. When that time's elapsed, I'm going to push this arm forward again. Like I say, sort of 30, 40% effort pushing forward to activate the peg. If you're not sure it's working, just touch, touch your peg, you feel it's contracted. 10 to 12 seconds, stop. And now I can rotate further again. I can pivot on my feet. And now I feel a stretch and now I ease off. And I'm going to wait here. So that's the second time I'm resting. Yeah, so now I'm resting for 10 to 12 in this position. When that time's elapsed, okay, say it has, push with the arm again. You're getting the idea now, aren't you? It's not rocket science. 10 to 12 seconds forwards again. And then we're going to stop, relax, and I can turn on the spot and I can come round, find that stretch, ease off. This is my third time I've eased off, so now I'm going to wait 20 to 24 seconds like this. And after that 24 seconds, I'm just going to drop the arm and then that's my pec stretched off. Okay. At no point did I feel like I was stretching my pec. Yeah. I was finding the stretch, I was easing off. Finding the stretch, easing off. Yeah. Always working on that cusp. But you can see how far I've managed to rotate. And I didn't even do the proper timings there. Yeah. So you do the proper timings. It's 10 to 12 each time and it really releases the muscle off using a thing called the GTO to sort of re-regulate the muscle tone and it'll give you longevity in the stretch rather than just cranking it stretching your spindles and causing a protective contraction straight back into it there you go my favorite pec stretch